It's time for your favorite radio program. 
Chatting from the Word with your host, your brother, brother Oscar York, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap in your Christian world. Good morning, America. Good morning, world. This is your host, Brother Oscar York, and we hope you have your ears on. Do you have your ears on, my listeners? Are you ready? Are you ready for this ride where, where, where we are going to lift up the name of Jesus as high? And as high as we can lift them this morning. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 And we hope that you are. We hope that you're ready to praise the Lord this morning and give Him a little bit of your time this morning. Is that all right with you here on Chatting from the Word? Because, you know, when we, uh, last evening, when we slept in slumber, don't you know the Lord was watching over us? Especially we that are on top saw, not the saw on top of us. He allowed us to see another wonderful, wonderful day. A day that only He created. A day that was kissed by God, my friends. Amen and amen. And it was a psalmist who said in Psalm 118, Division, verse 24, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, my friends, this morning, but I am going to rejoice and I am going to be glad Thanking the Lord for giving me another wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope you do the same. I hope you have that same concept of giving the Lord all of it. Amen and amen. Because it belongs to Him. You know, He just loved us so much that He has sent His grace to us. Grace. And it's all by His grace, my friends. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Amen and uh, hey, amen. Brother Oscar, I just, I just believe we need to thank the, thank the Lord, because He has been so good to us. Not just some of the time, but. Our Lord, He is good to us all the time, and He deserves, He deserves our praise. Yes, He does. Amen, amen. <laughs> yes, He does. He deserves all of our praise and glory and honor, my friends. All of it. All of it. All of it. Amen and amen. My friends, if this happened to be your first time listening in, don't allow it to be your last time. Come back and listen to us again. You are our welcome guest, but not only our welcome guest, but you are our honored guest. And if you love what we're doing here on Chatting from the Word, if you love it, tell others about us. Shout it from the mountaintop. Shout it from the rooftop. Let them know that Brother Oscar is on. Chatting from the word through your speaker platform. At nine o'clock in the morning. And we'd be so delighted that to do just that especially. Especially if you love what we are doing here this morning, my friends, and you being uplifted. Amen and amen. Now, my friends, let me ask you a question. And the question is, 
What is the question, brother Oscar? Our questions. <laughs> do you love what we do here at Chatting from the Word? Are you being inspired? Uplifted? Have you enjoyed the many chats that we are having here on Chatting from the Word? And if you can answer yes to all those questions, only if you can't say yes, although I'm... <laughs> I be walking on being ice here, and I hope I, I'm not. I, I hope I'm not. But if you really enjoy what we do here on Chatting from the Word, we hope that you can help us out financially. Uh, we need your financial assistance. We want to keep this fine program going and going and going. And if you can help us, please do that because we do need your financial assistance. And uh, you know it takes money. Is it take money to do? A lot of things. And Brother Oscar, we recognize here at Chatting from the Word that the gospel is free. It's free. But the avenues and the things we need to, to, to do to get it out there takes money. So we hope that you can help us out financially if you can. We do have a comment on PayPal. Just go to the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase. Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com and you can do the same at Zell. Go to Zell and put in my email address which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com and if you're having problems doing that even one get in contact with me especially if you want to help us out here on the financial way because I truly believe, I truly believe, and I hope you believe the same, that the gospel is so, so important. If it was not important, our Father would have never have sent Jesus, His only begotten Son, down here on this cruel world to die for you and for me. He made an investment. What about us, Nikki? An investment in Him. Amen. And uh, amen. Now, my friend, my friends, my friends, many of you, I, I mention it every day, and many of you do know where we're broadcasting from. Am I, am I, am I correct? Many of you know where we're broadcasting from, and we are broadcasting from that great, great, great state of Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we are this morning, that great state, wonderful state, beautiful state, Ohio. And Ohioans, we hope that you have your ears on, and we hope that you are listening to your, to your friend here, <laughs> to your brother here. <laughs> we hope that you are. We hope that you're listening, and we hope that you're getting, you know, that 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 vigoration in in your day, so that you can lift the name of Jesus, and so that you can have that snap in your Christian walk. Walk like you somebody. Walk proudly, and with a smile on your face and with your head up, because you are somebody. You are a child of God. You are a Christian, saved by grace. Amen. And uh, a. Amen. Excuse me. Uh, you know, sometimes my sinus be acting up and the me snorting and all that. I apologize for that. Um, now it's time for our summary. It's time for our summary. You heard in our introductory, you heard an introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And and next it will be our prayer time. Our prayer time. Radiance a cappella, sweet hour of prayer. And the scripture text that we want to use is Psalms the eighth division. Psalms the eighth division. And if you have a copy of God's word, you can follow along with us in uh, that uh, reading. Amen. And uh, amen. And the song that we have selected for this hour will be uh, Committed, 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 Jesus is more, and our Lord is definitely more. 
my friends. He is definitely, definitely Lord. Yes, he is. He is. Amen. 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 He is definitely more, more, more. Jesus he is more. And our subject. Our subject, it would be a continuation of yesterday, and that is the call of God. And that's what we want to focus on this morning, the call of God. And, and the reason why we're focusing on that, because Paul took that in that direction, called, talking about his purpose and his reason and his purpose and his purpose. He was called by God to be the minister. Of the world, of course, and of course the Gentiles, especially. So, my friends, we hope that to keep your ears on long enough to hear the message, because to me it's a good message. It's a good message with a a, a great meaning behind it. And, and our subtopic is: all are called, but a few are chosen. All are called, but a few are chosen. And we hope that to keep your ears on long enough to hear the message. Music. 
sweet hour of prayer and this is our prayer time of course <laughs> and if you have a prayer request that you want to ask going to pray for here or in chatting from the word simply just send it to my email address which is lowercase oscar york 3443 at gmail.com or I was going to say you can send to our Facebook page that's dedicated to the program, but we have to work on that uh, sooner or later, and we haven't really worked on it. But you can always, on any page that you're listening to the program through in the comment section, you can put your prayer request there. If uh, you so desire, even much on YouTube, you can uh, put it in the comment section there as well. If you have a prayer request that uh, you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word during our uh, prayer time. And of course, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, and uh, that is fine with us here at Chatting from the Word, we do respect your confidentiality. Uh, just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name, and we be so so delighted, so blessed to do uh, just, just that. Of course, this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here, or tell it from the Word, you can use those avenues that we have just uh, mentioned. And of course, as always, we want to keep those in our prayers that have been uh, asking for prayers uh, during the program here. Just keep in your prayers when you enter your prayer place or closet or, or wherever you, you have time to talk with God. Talk to God about them and, and mention their names. And if you know their names, so just mention the ones that we have mentioned here on the program. And of course, keep Brother Oscar in your prayers as well but we will appreciate that very much and you know what we believe here at Teddy from the word we believe that that we all all of us every one of us stands in the need of prayer all of us stands in the need of grace you know it's tough down here <laughs> it really is so so you know it, it just pays it pays to have a, a good 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 prayer life with with the, with, with the father and lord jesus christ it just pays. Amen and a amen. If you have a copy of God's Word, and you can, if desired, you can follow us in our reading. Our, our prayer time text will be Psalms, the Eighth Division. Psalms, the Eighth Division. And here, the psalmist penned this song. He says, O oh Lord, oh, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heaven. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest kill the enemy and the adventurer. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works 
of thy hands, and thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fall of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Amen and uh, a amen. Let us approach the throne of grace together, please. Our Father, our God Almighty, O oh, Father, how excellent is your name above all the earth. How great is your name, Father. O oh, Father, we recognize your greatness and how great you are. But Father, we recognize your reverence and your holiness too. Father, Father, we, we, we just are so thankful to you for this time to talk with you and to just allow you to know, Father, what is on our minds. O oh, Father, we thank you. For watching over us on last evening as we slept in slumber. And woke us up this morning. Another chance to see another beautiful day. Another chance to get it right with you. Another chance to spend time with you. In all your holiness and all your goodness and all your love. Father, Father, we thank you so much, so, so, so much for that. I know, Father, we come thanking you for your special perfect gift of your son, only, your only begotten son, Jesus, for allowing him to come down on this cruel world to show us how to treat cruel people, show us how to love, and then dying on the cross, taking our place on the cross, becoming sin, so our sin may be washed away. Oh, Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Oh, Father, we come praying at this time for for the condition of the world, Father, during this pandemic, Father, we pray that you would keep us keeping faith in you, keep us having trust in you, and recognizing, Father, that you are totally in control and all is well. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you touch their bodies. We pray, Father, that you heal their bodies. We pray, Father, that you allow them to rise from the bed of sickness and praise you and thanking you forevermore. Father, we come praying. We come praying, Father, for those that have lost loved ones at this time, Father. We pray, Father, that you be with them during a morning period. Comfort them, Father. Be with each teardrop that fall from their eyes. Be with each fault that they have by that loved one. Father, please comfort them as you know best to comfort. Oh, Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones at the hands of the police, Father. We pray, Father, that you all so comfort them, Father, during the morning period. Help them to understand the reasons and the whys. But, Father, the important thing, help them have comfort in you. And, Father, we pray for the police officers who felt as though that they, they needed to take a life. The only thing we say, Father, as that, if it was justified, Father, that you meet with that officer. Because we recognize, Father, doing, uh, doing something like that, needing to, 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 to kill someone, is, uh, uh, to shoot someone, or to uh, whatever, Father, it's not a good feeling. So, Father, we pray that you be with that officer, officers who had to do that. Be with their minds and be with their thoughts. And, Father, we come praying for the political leaders of this land in which we live, Father, we pray that that they make laws never forbidding us to worship and serve you, but make laws that we can live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we come praying, we come praying for the church, the body of Christ, your kingdom, your son's kingdom. Father, we pray that we can continue on during this pandemic to show a dark and dim world the light of Jesus and allow them to see Jesus 
in us. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you keep them regardless of what they are suffering through. If they're going through a sickness, if they have arthritis, Father, we pray that you be with each pain. If they are going to have a stroke and their bodies don't move, we ask, Father, that you help them to, to move their bodies a little bit more each day. Father, if they have a diagnosis of cancer and doctors have given them up. And just give them days to live, Father. We pray that you add years. Oh, Father, we're praying for that one that just had a heart attack. And their heart and their heart doesn't function as it once did. Father, we, we pray that you give them a new heart, creating them a new heart. Help their heart to pump even much better. Oh, Father, we come praying. We come praying, Father, for those that are having financial situations. Oh, Father, we pray that you bless them to overcome and to pay their bills and be able to survive. Oh, Father, we come praying for that one that's have those that's having financial, uh, uh, marital problems at this time. God, there's other reasons and the why, Father, but we pray that they seek for searching answers in your word and let you speak to them and mend their marriages. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that's having problems on the job, in the school, with their children. And, Father, we just pray, we just pray that you remove their mountains of problems that they are having and cast it in the deepest part of the sea so that it may not resurface anymore. And Father, we come praying. We come praying for our program here, chatting uh, from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us. Help us, Father, to keep it on the air. Help us, Father, to, 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 to be a light in each community that we're heard in. Father, help us to spread your gospel worldwide. Father, help us to reach the smallest ones who want to answer the call, Father, help us. And be with the message, Father, the call of God, help us. As we are chatting about the message, Father, that we may make sense to those that are really trying to stay on the, the, the way to heaven, Father, the road to heaven, Father. Uh, uh, Father, help us that we may say something to help someone to start on that road to heaven. And Father, keep those that we've been praying for here on Chatting from the Word in your care as well. Those that lost loved ones, those that try to make a difference when it comes to your Word, those that's having problems. And Father, keep me also in the palm of your hands. Help me to continue on with this program. Help me to get on a better financial uh, basis as well. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, do we pray. Amen. And amen, excuse me. And amen. We want to thank you for praying along with us in that prayer. And as always, we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with the second half after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. And we hope that you still have your ears on. We hope that you are listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. And we hope that we have inspired you today to keep the all-important snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we have. And we hope that we have. <laughs> yes, we do. We Hope that we have done that. Amen and amen. Now, my friends, you know how we begin our second half off. We, we begin by asking for a contribution or a donation. If we can help us out here on Chatting from the Word, we'd be so delighted that you do that. And if you want to do that, we do have a account on PayPal. So go to PayPal, webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443, at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle and do the same. Put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443, at gmail.com. And we hope that you do it today. Do it today. Help us out here at chatting uh, from the word. 
All right, all right, my friends. Do you love what we do here? Are you liking what we're doing here? Let us know that you like what we're doing here. You can put it on the uh, comment section through our Spreaker platform, or can you can use any uh, comment sections that you're listening to the program through. Let us know how much you like us here at Chatting from the Word, and let us know if we're doing a good job. Okay, all right, we're doing a bad job, and if you think we're doing a bad job, let us know how we can improve or make this program much better to your listening ears, or uh, that you will listen to us more and more and tell others about us, which is important, amen, and amen. And now, if you're listening to us through our speaker platform, of course, you can follow us through our speaker platform. We hope that you will do that. Follow us through our speaker platform. And of course, if you listen to us on YouTube, you can hit the subscribe button and subscribe to us because we are on YouTube uh, live at this time. We're on YouTube live right now. And if you're listening to us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to us, and of course, hit the bell so that you can be notified when we are broadcasting or airing a program through YouTube. And of course, we are on uh, Twitter. Join us on Twitter. We are on Twitter also live, and we are on Tumblr live. Join us on Tumblr live and we're also on Facebook live and uh, if, you, if you can listen to us on Facebook live as well. Facebook people put your ears on, put your ears on, put your ears on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Where am I? You know, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? What, 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 what? Where is brother asking? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it, brother? Where am I? I'm right here, of course. All right, all right, too. All right. Just fooling around, you know, brother Oscar. Just showing some love. Is that all right? Is that all right? Now, my friends, oh, oh, you, you know what? <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> I hid it from myself. <laughs> what you mean, Brother Oscar? I hid it from myself. You heard some people rattling, and we want to apologize for that. But the Internet Networks would come on. It's Music Download, a VFC, Ray, Joy Savon, Cromwell View, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, Castbox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire direct click, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Freaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting from the Word. And once you find us, put us in your favorites. On tomorrow, what we are doing is music time once again. You'll be ready to hear a fine program from us here at Chatting from the Word. No word. All right, all right, brother Oscar. All right, we are ready to move on with the program and be ready to play our only selection for the program today. And that would be committed, committed. Jesus is more. And Jesus, my friends, he is definitely more. And here they are committed. Jesus is more. Jesus is more. Jesus is more. Jesus is more. Jesus is more.
Everybody wants a hero. Everybody needs a friend. Mm, shoulder Everybody needs a helping hand. Well, you ought to try Jesus. Said he's just a prayer away. See, he can make your bird as light to your midnight.
that was committed a cappella, and they were singing, Jesus is more. And my friends, Jesus is definitely more than what we need. He's our best friend. He's someone we can talk to when we can't talk to no one else. He would be a friend indeed. Just give him a try. Most of us, we don't give him a try. That's our problem. Give him a try because once you try Jesus, you will find out that Jesus is more. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. And uh, amen. All right, all right, all right. Jesus, my friends, is definitely more. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back with the message after these messages. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are back. <laughs> we are back. And uh, we are so glad to be back with you. We really are. And we hope that we are making a difference in your life in the morning when you listen to us and that uh, you be uplifted and inspired to uh, put the all-important snap in your Christian walk. And, and also, if you may not know what we mean about that, we are trying to inspire you because we believe, we believe this, that we as Christians, we as Christians should have I mean, we should be the happiest people in the world. We should be happy regardless of what's going on around us or our situation. We should be able to walk with our heads up, with a smile on our face, and with a snap in our walk. <laughs> Is that all right? Yes, we do. That's what we believe, and that's why we, we, we make the statement by putting a snap in your Christian walk, and we hope that we have done that here on Chatting from the Word. That, that's our goal, to make you uh, to make you live for the Lord more and to recognize regardless of, of the many situations that's happening with us, we can always have that faith and trust in Jesus and definitely call him our friend. Sometimes we walk around here like we lost our best, best friend, but we have found our best friend. And our best friend is in Jesus Christ, my friends. He is. He's someone you can trust. Someone you can talk to when you can't talk to nobody else. When you're feeling motherless, when you're feeling fatherless, when you feel like you have no friends, Jesus is that friend. And he will stick you with you till the end. Amen and amen. Of course, this is our chat. This is our chat. And you know what we believe about chatting. <laughs> if, I can, if I can use that word, believe about chatting. Here on Chatting from the Word, when come to our message, we just don't teach, we just don't preach. But what we do here on Chatting from the Word, we chat about God's Word. And we hope uh, that the many chats that we, that we do here on Chatting from the Word, that you're inspired and that you're learning. Because we just chat, we just chat, we just talking. And if you always, as always, if you feel like uh, Brother Oscar is off, all parts of some things he's saying, you can always send me an email to, to prove your point. But always have uh, uh, scriptures, book, chapter, and verse of your point that you are trying to uh, make to us. Not commentaries, not what men may say. But what the word of God said. Let the word of God be the last, be, be the last, uh, be, be a book when it comes to truth. Okay? And this is what Brother Oscar is saying. Let the word of God be for itself. All right? Our subject today would be the call of God. The call of God. And our subtopic, we says, we all are called. But a few are chosen. We all are called, but a few are chosen. And when we talk, when we chat more about this uh, lesson, we will 
get more off into what we are meaning when, when we are saying uh, that we are all called, but a few are chosen. And of course, this 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 message that we are talking about today has come from uh, the letter that we are studying in the, the letter of Rome that Paul wrote to the Christians there. And we're coming from uh, chapter 15, and we're going to turn there real quick. Turn with me to chapter 15 of the letter of, of Romans that Paul wrote to the Roman Christians to encourage them and to uh, allow himself to be persuaded of them and and how great now I guess I can't use the word great but how how wonderful they are when it comes to uh, their belief and their love in Jesus Christ and I believe uh, that we can uh, see it like that because Paul said he said I myself am persuaded I myself am, am persuaded of you my brother that now you're full of goodness, you're full of knowledge, and you're able to admonish or to instruct one another. And then Paul said, and this is where we're coming from today in verse 15 of chapter 15, Paul said this. He said that, nevertheless, brethren, I have written more boldly unto you in some sort, because of the, the knowledge, because of the goodness, because of the ability to admonish you to instruct. Paul said, this is the reason why I wrote unto you more boldly. Because I want to explain to you about me now since I accepted Jesus Christ. Uh, you just heard that I was, I know all of you probably heard that I am such a, uh, was, was, was such a devil. I persecuted the church. I, I, I held the, the coats of them who stoned Stephen to death. You heard as I was being saw. But what, uh, what you didn't hear, maybe, was I was converted. I changed. Jesus Christ himself met me on the road to Damascus. He met me. I have received letters from the priest to say, okay, you can put the hurt on them Christians in Damascus. Go! Go! <laughs> they gave him papers to go. And this is what we're going to study today. And they get the priest to him at that time, turned with me to Acts 9, gave him papers to make havoc on the churches in Damascus, those that were beginning to teach Jesus Christ. And, and, and Saul, at Paul, this is Paul as Saul. Oh man, he, he was really into, into believing, having faith in what he was doing to the point that he was really putting a hurt on us Christians, on our Christian brothers and sisters back then. And the Bible says these words, and I just want to start at verse 1 because I think that as Saul turned to Paul, I believe he had a fascinating, a fascinating call. I believe that. And, and I believe all of our calls are fascinating when we are called. But here, Paul, we must look at the type of person he was before his call to get to read the, the real meaning behind why God chose him. And I believe we, we have we, we need to get the understanding what type of a person Apostle Paul was. I know on yesterday, <laughs> most of you, if you heard the message on yesterday, we compare a uh, Saul, and let's call him Saul now because uh, this is when he was doing his his devilment, destroying the church, uh, as Saul. We compare him to Hitler. And, and, and what, what, you, what you got to understand that Hitler had a trait in him that would have made him, oh, a great ambassador for Jesus Christ if he would have changed because Hitler went around conquering people uh, to the point of destroying them uh, and killing them. 
And, and Hitler really believed in what he was doing because he did it. And not only did he do it, he had others following him to a depth of really believing that what he was doing by killing uh, and the Holocaust, if I can use that word without offending anyone, uh, Hitler really believed in what he was doing was right, and he had others following that belief that he believed in. When you are conquering in the wrong for the wrong reasons, and when you get people to follow that, my my friends, you you have a a a trait that 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 God can use in the gospel of Jesus Christ. You do. If you can get people to follow you as they as Hitler did, or Apostle Paul, or as he was Saul did, you have a trait that God can use today. And me, I've seen it. I've seen it today. I've seen men even much today. They, they I, I was talking with somebody uh, several months ago, and I said, "You, you're a pie piper, man. You got these people following you like, 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 like you God." Oh man, if you would change and come to Jesus Christ, how many you can get to follow Christ? Just imagine that. And that's why I was telling that person. You're a pie piper. You got people following you. Like, just imagine if you was a Christian. What what you can do and how many people that you can have following you. But this was so and this is one of the trait that God looked at Saul so heavy. Because Saul believed in what he was doing was right. And, and you know what? He believed it in the name of God because that's what his belief is, not saying he was doing it in the name of God, because he was following, and he felt like he was following the Old Testament teachings because he felt like this new church is, uh, uh, he, he felt like it wasn't really in, in the Old Testament, and, and what, you know, Paul, Saul knew the Old Testament inside and out. And Saul was really into that. And he felt like nothing new is coming along to change that. He wasn't accustomed of the change. Oh, lo and behold. Lo and behold. When he received the letters from the priest to go into the synagogues of Damascus to destroy those Christians there. That was in the way the Bible says here. He had a surprise waiting for him. The Lord met him on the way to Damascus. The Lord shone a light round about him, verse 3. And he became blind and fell to the earth. And I know the rest of them that was around him. They probably didn't hear what the Lord said to him. I didn't see the Lord. But he did. Notice now, on the way to Damascus, Saul, he was going to destroy God's word. And God the Son met him, blinded him, shined a light around him by him. And only he could see and he could hear. And no one else around him heard or seen the light. Oh, man. His, like I say, his conversion was something else. His conversion was something else. And then the voice of Jesus came to him saying, Saul, Saul. Why are you persecuting me? So why are you persecuting me? Why are you persecuting me? This is God. This is God talking to you. This is the Lord. This is this is Jesus Christ talking to you. So why are you doing this? And then so I said, Who are you? Who are you, Lord? 
Who are you? Not to the fact that he didn't know who he was, but to the fact that in unbelief and didn't believe what was going on with him, and, and, and God coming to him, and did not recognize the reason why God came to him. And he said, what? who are you, Lord? Why? <laughs> in other words, why? Who are you, Lord? And Jesus said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. It's hard for you to kick against the brinks. Don't kick against the brinks. Don't go against me, Saul. And that's what you're doing. You're going to destroy my work, Saul. This is me, your Lord, talking to you, Saul. Stop it, Saul. And then verse 6 says, And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Oh, sometimes it takes a lot of us. For us to see the light of Jesus, for Jesus to shine a light on us, to get us to ask the question, what must I do, Lord? And this is what Apostle, this was Saul was saying. After Christ met him on Damascus Road and talked with him and asked him, why are you doing this to me, Saul? Why are you destroying me, Saul? Why are you persecuting the church, Saul? And Saul, and Saul only could say, Saul could only say, after being astonished, he could only say, being trembling and astonished, he said, Lord, what would thou have me to do? Not since I'm blind. Since you're speaking to me, Lord, what would you have me to do? And that's a big question. And that should be a big question to all of us who have not accepted Jesus Christ. Who's around in, in, in your own little fault of persecuting God's work. Because if, 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 you're, if you're not a Christian and you're going around talking bad about Christians and, and thinking uh, the body of Christ is not <laughs> Christ's body and, and, and trying to stop people from being in the body of Christ, you're, you're, you're doing what Saul is doing here. You might not be doing it in the way Saul is doing or, or that or the, uh, uh, as much vigor as, uh, as Saul was doing. But Saul... After he, the light of Jesus signed on him, asked the question, what must I do? What do you want me to do, Lord? And my friends, when the light of Jesus shined on you, the question that, that, that you should be asking, when, when the light of Jesus shined on you, when you see Jesus, what, what do you want me to do? What do you, Lord, want me to do? And all of us every day are faced with that question. And we just don't recognize that we are faced with that question, especially when we are not in Jesus Christ. Especially when we are out there cursing and doing everything against the Lord. Don't you know when you're out there cursing and taking them drugs and you and and, and doing this and doing that, you 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 doing what Paul is doing. You kick against the brink. You need to stop kicking, and and see the light of Jesus, and allow Jesus to come in your life. And you need to do what Paul is, is doing here. Ask the question: What must I do, Lord? And we're going to dig more into that question on Thursday. And if you want to listen or hear what Brother Oscar is going to say, tune in Thursday. Because tomorrow is our music time once again. Tune in Thursday and listen to what we're going to say about that question. Apostle Paul, uh, no, Saul all the time, ask the Lord. Amen and amen. It's time for us to get on out of here. We enjoy being with you today. We really have. And we hope that you enjoy this chat that we had with you today. We'll be right back with the closing 
after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. We are back with the closing. And we are so delighted to be with you. And we are so delighted to bring this program on to your listening ears. And we hope that you kept your ears on long enough to hear the chat. And if you love the chat that we're doing, come back. Come back and listen to us. But tomorrow, we're going to have this music time once again. We'll be playing many of your acapella hits. So join us tomorrow when we are playing acapella music. Amen and amen. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which are in heaven. Father, we thank you for once again allowing us to spend time with all of our listeners. Father, we pray for each listener that's listening to us today. We pray, Father, that you be with them. Help them to have that snap in their Christian walk. And show Jesus to a dark and dim world. Father, help them to face their problems head on and recognize that you are the problem solver. Oh, Father, just be with all our listeners. Be with our program here, chatting from the Word. Help us to keep chatting about the Word and from the Word. Help us, Father, to always express how great and beautiful Jesus is. In Jesus' name, do we pray. Amen. And amen. And as always, love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.